When I saw the president of South Korea hugging Kim Jong-un, I asked myself, would he do the same with Hitler? Now, the world is cheering Trump. I gave the president of the United States a standing ovation. For engaging with one of the most brutal dictators ever. Future of peace and security for the world, for the whole world. This regime has the worst human rights record on earth. This man runs concentration camps, deliberately starves people for control, and assassinates members of his own family. I escaped North Korea when I was 13 years old. Up until then, my life was a torture. I survived a famine that killed two to three million people. I ate dragonflies to survive. I passed starved dead bodies on the way to school. My father deported to prison camp for more than 10 years. His crime? Informal training to find food for our family. Ever since I spoke out against the dictators, my relatives disappeared. President Trump, you are sitting down with this dictator without asking for any concessions. Kim is clever. He is using this moment to sanitize his global image and prove how supreme he is at home. I've seen this show before. When I was seven years old, the supreme leader, my God, married the South Korean president. And guess what happened after that? Nothing changed. Kim Jong-il got richer, and Kim Dae-sung won Nobel Peace Prize. So, President Trump, why you have Kim Jong-il's attention? Use it to free North Koreans. The nukes can be removed. What can be more urgent than human life? As a leader of free world, you must hold the worst dictator on earth accountable. To the American public, you have the power to tell your president he needs to fight for human rights in North Korea. Use it.